Welcome to the Common Patriot. I'm glad you're here. In the last 20 years, hunting clothing has taken gigantic leaps forward in the clothing options that are out there for hunters. There's a number of brands out there, but we're gonna be talking about two big brands. That is Sitka and First Light, coming up on the Common Patriot. In the early 1990s, when I started to hunt, I used basically whatever hunting clothing that I had available to me, which was the same stuff I cut wood in or went to grandma and grandpa's in. I didn't have the high speed, high tech gear that we've seen come about in the outdoor industry in the last 20 years. And what I wanna talk about here today is just some differences in the two systems that I have. This is the whitetail system from Sitka, and I have more of a Western uh, big game system with first light. I'm going to start off with the Sitka system. It's the one that I've had the longest. My progression to this type of gear has came a long way. At one point in time, I had a tote full of Bass Pro gear. I've also had Stand Hunter system from Cabela's. That was a great system, but super, super bulky. Like you looked a little bit like a marshmallow when you walked around, but it was super warm. The Sitka system that I bought a few years ago, compared to all the other clothing that I've used, it's light, it fits pretty well. And the thing is, is you can layer very nicely in it and not get real bulky. Now Sitka uses a lot of synthetics and man-made materials in order to create their system. Now that's great and it does a lot of things like it breathes much better than traditional clothing. It keeps you warmer, it fits better, it's more maneuverable, it doesn't bind, and it allows you to layer and not get real bulky. So I have to say that getting a Sitka system, it has been phenomenal. It's much better than any of the gear that I've used in the past for fit, warmth, as well as maneuverability. Now, Here's one of the problems that I've had with my Sitka system. So number one is it's extremely expensive. Number two is just how well it holds up. I noticed that after a few washings that it just started to look like it was wearing. Now I don't try and wash my clothes any more than I necessarily have to, but I am a whitetail hunter and I will wash them a few times each season. The third thing that I noticed with using the Sitka system is a few years ago, I took this system out west to go elk hunting. And I was with a buddy of mine who was wearing some First Light gear. It just seemed like he never had the problems that I was having. If I'm moving, I'm sweating. So we're up hiking mountains, but he seemed to be staying much drier than I was where I was sweating, even though I was, I was layered and I would take layers off if we were moving just down to my base layer or whatever. By the third morning when we woke up, I was just like, oh, this tent stinks. Come to find out it was me and it was also my clothing. And so one of the things that I've noticed is that if you're perspiring, if you're an active hunter, that the Sitka system that I have, the synthetics, tend to hold that smell. So just to break it down, I like that it's not bulky, I like that it's easy to layer, and I like that you can get a lot more warmth without the bulk than you could with other systems from the past. Now let's talk about First Light. So last year before I went on my elk hunt, I invested in a system of First Light gear. I did not get the entire system because the price tag is hard to swallow. I'm an average guy like a lot of you out there, and so spending $3,000 on another system when I already have a system is not necessarily in my budget. However, I was going out to the mountains elk hunting, archery elk season, it wasn't gonna be super cold, so I bought the mid and down to warm weather system. I didn't get the real heavy uh, jackets and pants. But a few things that I noticed after spending a week in the mountains as well as some other hunts since then in the first light gear is it has all of the advantages that I talked about with Sitka in that it's not bulky, it can layer very well, but it also moves much better than even the Sitka system. In fact, I almost feel like I'm not wearing it when I have it on. It does not bind in any way when I'm moving around. And even though the Sitka system was good and better than anything I had ever had before, First Light still did a better job of uh, not restricting movement. The other thing that I really noticed is after several days of wearing my First Light gear, I didn't stink. And a big part of that is in the construction of the garments, I believe, this is my own personal opinion, but First Light uses synthetics, but they also use a lot of merino wool in their garment pieces. And if you know anything about merino wool, merino tends to wick moisture really well, as well as suppress the odor in the garment. And it was 
very clear from my two hunts out in the mountains that my first light gear was suppressing that smell and odor in my garments much better. The other thing is that I thought that the first light gear breathed a lot better than my Sitka gear did when I was out in the mountains. I also have been very impressed at how um, the garments have held up. I haven't washed them as many times as my Sitka system, but I've liked it the way they're holding up. And hands down, the best thing that I ever bought for the mountains was First Light's zip off long underwear. I bought them because it, I thought that seems like a really cool idea. But then after using them, it was like, these are the best thing ever. All of my long underwear should be like this, that I'm out doing things because when you're outside and weather changes and stuff or your activity level changes, it's really nice to not get super hot and sweaty and be able to drop a layer without, you know, taking your boot off and standing there and doing the balancing act of trying to switch layers. So that's one of the most neat pieces in the first light system. But also recently I've just bought in some of the heavier garments. I'm really excited to try some of them out as the temperatures start to drop this fall. And I've been super, super impressed with the first light gear. Both the first light system and the Sitka system do work very well. It's not my intention to beat up one brand or praise another one, but after a few seasons out using Sitka gear and using first light, out of those two high-tech, high-speed outdoor brands, First Light, in my opinion, is the winner. Now, I haven't tried all of the outdoor brands out there, and you may be a Sitka fan. That's okay. If it works for you, meets your needs, fantastic. But if you're one of those people that maybe doesn't have a system like this and is looking to invest into a, a First Light or a Sitka system, I just wanted to give you my opinion after hunting with both for a few seasons. And uh, first light wins in my book. Um, I got nothing on the table. I don't get any of my first light clothes given to me. I don't get my Sitka gear given to me. This is just my opinion as a hunter, outdoorsman, who really enjoys the best gear that I possibly can afford. If you're somebody that can't afford some of these systems or the entire system, that's okay. Buy what you can, get out there, enjoy God's creation. I'm wishing you a good hunting season this fall. And remember, you're a common patriot. So be bold, be strong, don't ever give up. God bless, we'll see you next time.